Okay, okay. Guys, super proud of myself. Did my own hair and I finally figured out what works with my hair. Yay! So, what's happening today? Today, I'm doing a little photo shoot, you know? Getting ready for this website launch. This is a no glasses shoot, you know? I'm trying to tap further into my divine feminine energy and a lot of that for me means, you know, making the effort for myself. Making sure that I know what makes me feel good and putting in the effort to take care of yourself, you know, whether that means dressing up or wearing certain clothes, cleaning out your closet. I'm doing all of that in the next couple of days, so I'm going to be vlogging that too, but tapping into my... Okay, first of all, off the shoulder tops. Why? Why must you be like this? But yeah, tapping into your divine feminine energy for me. I do the mental work, the spiritual work, but there's a lot of physical work, you know, taking care of your mind, body, and soul. So I do the mind and the soul, and the body, I kind of just let it go, because I'm like, oh, whatever, I should feel beautiful no matter what, and I do, but I also know that I'm not doing my best, and you know, when you look good, you feel good. And I don't think I'm expressing my most authentic self, because this is how I want to dress, like, you know, this is honestly how I would dress regularly. But you have to like figure out what works for you and you know what your process and process is and get comfortable with that. So I'm just working on that right now and you know what? I'm very happy right now. Yay! <laughs> Let's go. So that clip was from yesterday. I was getting ready for a shoot. Um the pictures, they look phenomenal. Follow at not Kairos guys, he's so good. Hit him up for your videography and photography needs. Today, what is happening? We are continuing the journey to finding your divine feminine energy and tapping into that boss female that, you know, I want to be, that I know I can be, that I already am and just have to bring it out. So I got my girl here, Iman. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> this is Iman. Iman is my big sister slash stylist slash model slash oh. flawless artist slash oh. fucking yoga instructor oh. slash spiritual person slash twerker slash twerker a hey. <laughs> what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go through my closet and she's gonna tell me what looks good let me fix this lighting what doesn't look good and we're gonna try some stuff out and then have some good food and yeah also by the way she was in a music video oh oh Oh. oh, you remember that? Oh, remember cheers. when you did that? Cheers, cheers to that. Cheers to that. Can I watch yes. it now? Yeah, we're gonna watch <laughs> you now. Can we preview it now? We're together? gonna preview it now. I'm waiting for you. Hey. Oh, celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. With your loved ones. Boom. There you go. Let's yeah. do this. How do you feel? I feel really good. I feel like it came together really well when yeah. you're like not stressed about it and you're just having fun. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. that's why I like really translated. Through. Yeah. Guys, you need to go watch the video right now. So far, Garnajla and fucking tag this girl because she looked so good. So good. Okay, yo, let's make me look good. Okay. Let's do this. We're gonna have a donation pile. Yep. And then a keeping pile. And then we're gonna do some outfits with the keeping pile so we can uh, get you all set up for okay. the next few shoots that you have coming up. Perfect, so we'll do donations here, keeping here. Yeah. And then we'll take it from there. Yeah. Yay. All right, so she's not happy. She's not impressed. Um, I think we've made progress with you today. Okay. So what a lot of people do is they stay comfortable in a style that they fell into at a very young age. You know, we usually like start to like get into our styles sort of in like high school. Some people just have like their own style sense from a very young age, but some of us kind of like gravitate towards like what the group's doing, the popular pop culture, everything influence. So it seems like Tanvir's been a little <laughs> stuck. But you expand when it comes to like your video shoots and stuff, which is good. Like you have your signature style, which is like high jean shorts mm -hmm. and your sweater tops, which really accentuates your legs, which is like your asset. So mm -hmm. that's something that you're really smart and you know. My asset. <laughs> but Tanvir has disclosed today that her shoulders are something that keep her 
from really like bracing her body. So we all have that. Yeah, I think today we've just like evolved. <laughs> we are making a lot of use with our fast fashion so mm -hmm. that we're creating less waste in the world. So we're yep. taking a lot of dresses and turning them into tops. We're cutting things making yep. them into more um, you know, comfortable wear so that we're not like, oh, I don't know, I don't like the way this fits, but I bought it. So we're like, well, how can we make it more comfortable so that we can use it so we're not creating more waste in the world, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and we saw that we actually had a lot of pieces to work with and a lot of like oversized white shirts um, which you can wear like over dresses, over shorts, mm -hmm. over pants and just really play with them. It blew my mind that you could do this stuff, like... And it's really fun, right? It to was just, so like, much fun. Get someone to come in and get like a different eye. Yeah, this is fun. I'm excited to explore my new style and show off my shoulders. Yes! Embrace it! I'm you trying! You the way you are. We are I'm all trying. born beautiful. It's really what gets put in our heads. Right? Yes. Yes! Yes. Yay! Yeah. Successful closet yeah. haul. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. hey. Hey! Hey! I'm so excited. Hey, can't see us <laughs> because the sun is shining. He's leaving me. Don't go. Thanks for changing my life and uh, you know my confidence and helping me bring out all these different parts of me. Yeah. Super fun. Guys, follow her because she's coming out with some exciting, exciting shit. Super cool stuff, and she's a badass, and you want to get to know her. But <laughs> she's my sister. <laughs> Let's just make that clear. It's mine. Okay. Bye. Bye. Guys, I'm so tired. That took so much energy, but it was so much fun. Yeah, I'm ready to tap into a whole different side of me. Not tap into a whole different side of me. It's always been there, but there's always been some sort of like insecurity that I haven't been able to break. So I couldn't live my best life or put myself out there as I would like to. Like when I went to Mexico and I felt like myself, I felt like this is how I should be dressing, you know, back home. But when you're traveling, it's different because, you know, no one really knows you living your best life. But, like, like, shouldn't every day be like that? So I want to be like that. I want to and that's just gonna take some effort and revamping my entire closet And sometimes it means asking for help. This is all tying into the whole mind body and soul thing I think the reason why I struggled with this so much was um, I'm the oldest out of my brother and me I didn't grow up with any role model or anything like that And I also didn't have like an inner desire to do anything about the way I looked because I was so insecure back when I was younger like I used Used to be 150 pounds when I was 13. Couldn't walk up the stairs without going out of breath. I couldn't do a push up. I couldn't run, and it didn't feel good. And I got bullied. I used to get bullied so much. So with all of that, I don't think I had enough mental space to really care about the way I looked, and I just felt comfortable in baggy clothes, and I still do till this day. But I'm also hiding, you know. So I just want to step outside. I want to expand. I want to broaden, as Iman said, my horizons. And um, you know, I just thought I'd document that process, you know, because. As females, we, we are told so much, like, look like this, you're too big for this. I have an insecurity about my shoulders because I was told that my shoulders are too broad. And then I saw someone like Sierra, oh my goodness. Sierra. <laughs> so I see someone like Sierra, I'm like, okay, if she can rock it, I can rock it, you know? So I just want someone to be looking at this vlog being like, yo, if she can do this, then I can do it, and yes, you can. That's literally the point of all this. I'm just like you, you know? You and I, we are all very alike, we are connected. It's not that we shouldn't look beautiful, it's just that we should feel beautiful no matter what, you know? Not to somebody else's standards, but our own. We need to make it work for us. That's basically it. And we need to find our inner glow. Whether you're wearing a beautiful bodycon dress or whether you're wearing a baggy tee and some shorts, like you should feel beautiful either way. You should feel powerful either way. No matter what you look like, that's the goal. Don't put yourself in a box because you were meant to be free. And I'm definitely like that. I'm definitely a free spirit. So I just wanna, I just wanna expand my horizons. I wanna expand my wings and see where this takes me. So that's that. Yeah. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you soon.